Hello there. Welcome to this interesting lesson about the places and things to respect. In this lesson, I will take you on a trip to the museum. Let's begin. Here we are at the museum. Are you wondering, what is a museum? Well, a museum is not a place where scary things are kept. It is a building where you find a collection of objects created by people or found in nature. A museum is a great place where you will find unique and beautiful objects. A museum is not just a place but also a home. It's a collection of art, including sculptures and paintings of past leaders. That is why it should be respected. When you are in a museum, it is important to move about carefully, not touching anything because some things in the museum may break easily and copies of broken museum items are very difficult to find or may not even exist anymore. Things kept in the museum are precious and should be handled with a lot of care. It is the rule of the museum not to touch things or play with them. Things in the museum are the property of the country. They should be respected. Going against the rule is disrespectful and it is not good to be disrespectful. Being respectful is the right thing to do. But respect is not only about treating others with care. It also means treating places with care too and other things around you. Just the same way we take care of our toys at home, it is our duty to take care of the things kept in the museum and things that belong to others. The things kept in the museum are not the only things we should respect. We should also respect things like the Nigerian flag, the Nigerian constitution, the national anthem and pledge. The Nigerian flag is a very important symbol of the country. It is everyone's duty to respect the flag. And how can we respect the flag? We respect the flag by keeping it clean and making sure that it does not fall to the ground. We should respect the Nigerian constitution. The constitution is a special book that contains the laws of the country. These laws are to be respected. Going against the law is a sign of disrespect. When you recite the national pledge and sing the national anthem, you should stand and be at attention. Do you know why you should do this? You should be at attention because you show respect that way. It is also a sign of focus on an important time like that. You should respect other things like your school supplies, people's belongings, for example, their toys, books, and so on. Another way to respect things is by keeping your hands off people's belonging. Do not touch things that do not belong to you unless you are allowed to do otherwise. Hospitals should also be treated with respect. The same goes for the school environment, government house, and many more places should be treated with respect. Let us think about the way to respect places and things. One way to respect places like museums, libraries, and hospitals is by keeping quiet. Another way to respect places, for example, the school, is by keeping the school environment clean, always. One important thing you should remember is that respecting people, places, and things as a sign of a good and healthy behavior. When you respect people, you will be respected in return. When you respect places and things, you provide a great and fair environment for all. Great! You have come to the end of this lesson. Before you go, let me ask you a few questions. This will help me know how well you understand the lesson. Here you go. Question 1. Respecting places and things is a sign of good behavior. Is this true? or not. That is correct. It is true that respecting places and things is a sign of good behavior. Question 2. Respecting places and things are not as important as respecting people. Is this true or not true? This is not true. Respecting places is as important as respecting people. Excellent. Have a look at some new words as you go along. Unique. This means something or someone special with adorable qualities. For example, Nina is beautiful. She has a unique smile and cheek dimples. That was an interesting lesson, wasn't it? I had a great time. I hope you did too. In the next lesson, I will teach you something just as interesting as this one. Until then, bye-bye for now.